let's do an exercise now that we know that there is plenty of data on the databases and internet and books. Let's calculate the energy being lost when we pass through a gate valve of steel. So the velocity of the fluid will be 0.5 meters per second and the inner diameter is about 1 inch. So they tell you calculate the energy loss. We got this equation for fittings and valves. So they tell you calculate this. But one detail we need to find out k. We have the velocity, that's good, but we need to find k. The k of gate valve. So from previous data I go and find gate valves and I have many options in which I probably will choose the angle to be zero, so I'm going to use this valve. Uh, since diameter 1 is equal to diameter 2, because we are going to suppose that, we've got the gate valve here, and they didn't tell us that there is a change in pipe, so I'm going to suppose that the beta equals 1, therefore there's no angle, therefore I choose this one here, a times ft. Recall that ft is a function of actually roughness, because Reynolds number will be infinite, so let's do it. Find it in, if you had the diagram, look for 10 to the 8 values or even high if you have it. And where is it? Let me calculate the relative roughness. I'm just calculating the Reynolds numbers to have a reference. Density was 1000. Actually, you don't need to know it. Velocity, we have it, yes. Diameter, we have it, is 1 inch. Change it to meters, will be 0 0.0254 to meters. Divided by uh, the dent uh, viscosity of water will be this. 1.3 times 10 to the 4. Okay, relative roughness we actually need to calculate Ft. You don't remember what is Ft? Is essentially the friction factor calculated in infinite turbulence. So for steel we got this epsilon, which is in meters. The diameter once again is one inch, which changed to meter is this number, and we need to divide the epsilon by the we got this value right here. And since this is 0 0.0017, actually it's better to round up to 0 0.002. So let's find that 0 0.002. This is where we were, the Reynolds number. But if you wanted to calculate this one right here, it will be wrong. Because we need this one right here, the one on infinity, max Reynolds number. So maybe this value wasn't that wrong, but example, uh, imagine if we will calculate this and you will choose this value will be wrong because you will be telling me that you need a friction factor about 0 0.035 when in actually in turbulence we have a friction factor of about 0 0.025. Okay, so just be sure to always calculate these FT values here. Let's use it, 8 times this value, you got this, and the k value we got 0.20. But we are not uh, calculating k value, we are going to calculate the energy loss due to this friction. In this k value is 0.20, the velocity we have it, divided by 2, and it's right here. 0 0.025 joules per kilogram is the loss that you're going to expect in that gate valve. You need more problems like this, don't hesitate to check out the course. Go to chemicalengineeringguide.com, apply to dynamics, part number one, which is in compressible flow, and you will find out many solved problems, quizzes, slideshows, and many other problems. This was a free preview. You want to get full access, go to my incompressible flow course. The link is in the description of the video. You will get all access. Not only that, you get a very straightforward, uh, user-friendly interface so for instance you were analyzing or studying pumps you have it here the pump block and then you have the sections if you were for example studying the types of pumps you can go here and you have all the classes right here not to mention that you also have introduction and conclusion of every one of these so for instance if you were studying positive displacement pumps the video is right here you were studying positive displacement pumps in rotatory and reciprocal are also included here. Centrifugal pumps, which is a very important topic in this course, you have it right here.